Okay. Invasion of the jelly pudding things. I think it still shocks you when it looks weird, though, so... I'm gonna ignore it. Okay, let's try no try south. So basically nothing was accomplished in that little outing, but whatever. Nothing. <sighs> I really hope I get to swim soon. We'll make navigation so much easier. This looks suspicious. This looks really suspicious. Hmm. Alright, I guess not. Hello. Well, that I can do. Well, jeez, I gave it to you. Jerk. And what have we here? A rabbit. Oh, walrus. Now, here, maybe? What are you- oh, you're another- What the hell are you, a hippo? Fine. Somewhere around here, there's a guy who wants us like a honeycomb. Well, that sounds like a trade quest waiting to happen. And I meant to talk. Well, they're like. They're the only cities in the, in the, on the island, so... And that's telling you to get the ocarina, I guess. Anything in here? And... Can I jump through that? Okay, you're a bear. Do you want honey? Yes, you want honey. Yes, we got a pineapple on a pineapple. Uh. Oh, so we need to go all the way back? Is that what I'm hearing? That's bull. Oh wait, there's a teleporter. That I need to run. I really hope that teleporter like works. Let's see, there's a secret cell seashell somewhere. There's that fucking walrus. Fuck that walrus. So yeah, the walker says that the uh, secret seashell is near an owl statue. And I'm going to follow its directions. Leave Animal uh, Village to the northwest. And go south twice. Then... West. Stupid... Enemies everywhere! Yeah, and then the... I'll set you up here. What do you have to say? I'm not even gonna try to analyze that. 
Alright, that's our secret seashell, and uh, I think now we have to go get Marin. Alright, let's just lift this stuff up, see if there's anything non-essential. Nope, nope, just gonna leave. And try to get to that teleporter. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not so much a fan of that animal music, uh, animal village music. Okay, please tell me I can get there. Yeah... Oh, okay, yeah, I can. And this is not at all what I intended to do, but maybe this will lead to profit. This looks like a good job for those guys. Hmm. Now that's a thing. What am I doing here? Is this a job for bomb arrows? Cause I can't throw a bomb that far, can I? Whoops. No, no, I can't. But even then, I don't know how you can jump that far, so... I don't think we can get that as of yet with our current capabilities. And if we can, I'll get it after I do the dungeon, so... yeah. Now then, let's do that whole loop around again. And now let's use the warp to teleport. Hooray! That's actually pretty convenient. I guess that takes the place of Gale Seeds, which are a lot more convenient. Or rather, Gale Seeds took the place of that, and they were a lot more convenient. Grabbing this. Actually, I'm gonna buy some bombs, too. I'm running low. So much purchasing. Well, where the hell did you go? Alright, I know where she is. I'm gonna moonwalk her to her, to impress her. For the record, I never intend to moonwalk, except right there. It just kinda happens, cause it's the way I use my gamepad. So yeah, I guess... God damn it! I'm pretty sure that this whole scene is, this whole bit is gonna be really similar to the Rosa thing in Oracle Seasons. Or, or vice versa, I guess. I have to think backwards for this kind of stuff, you know. There she is. I suppose. Okay, that's just awkward. Off we go. This is totally just throws a thing all over again. 
or, or rather, the Rosa thing is this all over again. I mean, it's not a bad gameplay mechanic in terms of like, okay, now you have to get this person to come to- God damn it! I mean, I, I like this kind of gameplay mechanic, and I like that it actually doesn't have horrible, like, pathfinding stuff, like in a lot of th 3D games. It works a lot better than the, uh, Sage stuff in Wind Waker. Alrighty, and let's move along. Hi, Bow Wow. Now, I'm pretty sure there are a number of photo ops in the, uh, during this date sequence. But heck, if I know what they are. There's a guide, but I don't have it open. And if it's anything like Rosa, you can, you know, do another date and get the photos then. Alright, how convenient. And I suppose I should equip my ocarina, because it's going to be a duet, clearly. Oh no, I, th I think I prefer having Bow Wow follow me. we go. Hopefully there's, like, stuff to get here. Oh, right, now I remember. I hated the desert section in Oracle Seasons. I hope this isn't anywhere near as annoying. Yeah, there's probably... There is, in fact, hidden stuff here. So many enemies. Why are there so many enemies? Wait, for a game that's so focused on exploration, there's so many goddamn enemies. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. Like, sea bears? This came before Spongebob, so I don't know. Is there anything in here? gonna... Oh, hello. This is a thing. I mean, I didn't want to go around and... That's not the thing I want. I didn't want to go around and stab all the walls. Oh, it's a Land Moa from, uh, Link to the Past and various other games, but mostly Link to the Past. Boss of Dungeon 2, Link to the Past, the Desert Dungeon, except there were three of them back then. Got recycled into Twin Mold and Majora's Mask, and probably a bunch of other games. Hey, I'm gonna fall down! Stop it, stop it! Wait, am I supposed to fall down? Okay, yeah. That was just this cave. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. That explains it. So, I have the key. I don't know where I'm gonna use it. But, let's see... Okay, actually, looking at the guide, there is, in fact, a place to bomb the wall. I don't know, I just... I went angry because the one wall didn't make a sound, but had a visual thing. This one doesn't have a visual sound thing, but has a sound. I honestly think that having both would probably be the best, because stabbing everywhere is tedious and not a good gameplay mechanic. But at the same time, having a confirmation of your suspicions via a sound, if you try to stab a suspicious-looking wall, seems like it'd be good. 